in this video we are going to discuss about advantages of NAT so if you see that the internet protocol or IPv4 which is precisely called as IPv4 uses addresses that are 32 bits in number and also you see as such total address space of IPs is from 0 to 232 minus 1 so if you see 4294967295 host in this other words over 4 billion unique IP addresses are used here so if you see the address class number of networks and also private address space clearly given here so coming to the class A number of networks is 1 and it ranges from 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255 so coming to B it is 16 and 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255 coming to the C class network number of networks available are 256 networks and it ranges from 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.255.255 so this NAT actually you can see this, an enterprise can assign all these private IP addresses to the devices of the internal host without need of registered IP address but the concept of NAT here clearly gives that a router on the other device can be used to perform NAT operation to convert these IP addresses to public IP addresses are routable on the internet that means when an enterprise assigns these IP addresses when a router which where a NAT configuration is configured that will convert these private IP addresses into public IP addresses so that this routable on the internet here and also the network address translation is defined in RFC that 1631 the original intention of NAT was to slow down this depletion of the IP addresses by allowing many private IP addresses to be represented by someone smaller in the public IP here and also if you see this NAT also has to come to find other applications that do not use or directly related to IP address conversation one such NAT is the merger of two companies hence their internetworks so due to this merger of two companies you see here they uses the address 10.0.0.0 address space here clearly so this 10.0.0.0 address space is used so that this NAT address space is given clearly here so coming if you see this NAT allows organizations to solve problems of IP addresses and also this organizations connect networks to internet without needing having the networking information center registered IP addresses that means if any new host coming from the outer network and coming and joining to the inter network then they do not they, sh they, they cannot have or no need to have this network information center registered IP addresses so that this NAT concept is used to use this private IP addresses converted into global IP addresses which are routable so that this NAT is very used here so the major advantage of NAT is that it needs to be configured on the some routers where it needs to be configured so that would actually perform the NAT operation here so this is the advantages of NAT and about the disadvantages we will be discussing in the next videos